So, you know when Facebook asks you, wie fühlst du dich? And then it gives you lots of suggestions, like... Fantastisch! Freude! Verrucht! Fabelhaft! Aufgeregt! Entspannt! Verliebt! Genervt! Hoffnungsvoll! So, if you're serious about learning English and you spend a normal amount of time on Facebook every day, my suggestion, my tip, is to change the settings on your Facebook from German into English. It's really easy to do. Just go to Einstellungen, Settings, and Sprache, Languages, and change from Deutsch into English. And then, when you do that, you will see English on your Facebook every single day. And Facebook will ask you, how do you feel? How do you feel? And then it will give you all those adjectives in English. So you can see those adjectives all the time. And that's great practice. So right now I'm going to write some examples of emotions that you can see on Facebook. I'm going to draw them here and then you have to tell me what that emotion is in English. So how do you say this emotion in English? Okay, so how do you say this in English? How do you say this, which is begeistert in German? In English you say, I feel excited. Okay, second adjective. How do you say this in English? So it would be erfreut in German. How do you say it in English? Yes, exactly. It is amused. Okay, next adjective I hope is something that you do feel. I'll draw it here. So how do you say geliebt in English? You would say loved. I feel loved. Next adjective is this. So, verwehrt. How do you say that in English? You say confused. I feel confused. So also what's very important about these adjectives is to put the stress on the correct ad, ad, on, sorry, on the correct syllable, so to pronounce them correctly. Excited, amused, loved, confused. Okay, the next one. How do you say this in English? How do you say verrucht in English? You say crazy. I feel crazy. Next adjective. This is a little bit difficult to draw, so I'm going to, to do it. If you feel like this, how do you say stolz in English? Well, you say proud. I feel proud. Crazy, proud. And then the last one, if you're feeling, you're sweating and you're feeling very ängstlich, how do you say that in English? How do you say that in English? You say, I feel anxious. Anxious. So there are seven adjectives for you. I hope this helps you. Remember to do that. Start using your Facebook in English and when you do a status update, write how you feel in English and that will be very good practice for you. And of course, if you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. If you want to see more video tips like this, just click on these videos here. So when do we use in, on, at? 
to talk about time and to talk about location. This video will talk about the top three tips to remember vocabulary. So, do you know the difference between this and this? Why?